Good morning, fellow Og Law family. How are you doing? Um, we are just hanging out around the house. My husband went to help my mom um, at the ranch to move cows. So hopefully he'll get some footage that I can put in for you guys about that. Um, I wanted to give you an update on my flowers that the kids picked me yesterday. A ton of them have perked up and they look amazing. There are still a few that are sad and might not make it, but we're going with it. One of my favorite things ever is wildflower bouquets. Like, I am obsessed. There's also some of these in there. A lot of them have perked up, which makes me happy. But yeah, we are just hanging out today. It's actually pretty warm out today, right now. Um, knock on wood because it's been storming. So the kids are outside playing and I am going to actually, oh, I just got water everywhere. I'm gonna actually meal prep some fruit. So I figured I would show you guys what all we like to meal prep in our fruit bowls. I'm also gonna prep some veggies to have two for the week. So just grab and snack type of things and to put on the kids snack plates that I love to do for them. So let me show you what kind of veggies I'm gonna put in our fruit bowl this week. Okay, you guys. Let me show you what I have this week. I have you propped up so hopefully you can see me. So I'm going to put my berries in a strainer. So I have raspberries. The kids whoo, already ate half of the container, but that's okay. Um, so I'm going to do raspberries this week. I just totally spilled those everywhere. It's okay. I haven't washed them yet. So it's fine. I also pick through and see which ones are good and which ones aren't. Um, but I'm going to do raspberries and then I'm going to do blueberries, um, green seedless grapes, and then I have two things, well one and a half because we already ate half of this one, of strawberries. So I'm going to get those all cut up and put in a bowl and then I just put them in a bowl and then put... Um, paper towels in. I'll show you guys that. So let me get these all washed and cut up and then I'll come back. I like to cut my strawberries. I'll show you. Let me get my fruit washed and I'll come back. Okay you guys, so I got my berries washed um, and my grapes. So what I like to do is I like to lay out some paper towels to let them dry for a little bit on. It helps to keep them um, good in the fridge. For longer when they're not wet so I just let them dry out on my paper towel um, spread them out there's a couple raspberries that got squished um, and then I keep a container there was a couple um, strawberries that already had mold on them I keep a container um, to the side to put the bad ones in so that we can give those to our chickens so while these are all drying off a little bit um, put my grapes over there too. Um, I am going to take my strawberries and cut them. So what I do is I cut the tops off um, and I give those to my chickens too. My horses, um, Bunny, my little baby, my yearling horse actually loves strawberries tops. Um, so she eats those too. Okay. Then I cut it in half again and then I like to cut it the half in half and then I cut it in smaller pieces so that it stayed like it's easier to eat for like a snack type thing and um, it makes the strawberries go farther so I cut them into just um, whoo, little little baby chunks of strawberries I feel like it goes good with the blueberry sizes and then their grapes are bigger obviously but so that's what I do, and then I'm going to just put it all um, into a big bowl. Um, look through the strawberries to make sure they're good, and then make sure all of the berries are good. And then I just put it in a bowl, um, and then I actually put paper towels on top of the bowl and flip my bowl upside down so that all of the um, extra water for the next couple days can drain out into... Um, the paper towels too. It just helps, like I said, it helps the fruit stay fresher um, with the paper towel in there. stays longer. Um, our fruit bowls don't even last very long. I would say literally I have to make one probably once a week 
depending on what all I put in it. Sometimes I put um, like bigger fruits like um, pineapple and stuff like that. And then sometimes I'll cut up other fruit like watermelon to put on the side too. I don't mix the watermelon in here because then everything gets too wet and mushy and then my berries go bad. But um, pineapple is really good in my fruit bowls. We like to do that. Um, pretty much any kind of fruit that you like that you think would stay good. Like I said, we love watermelon, but I don't put it in the same bowl because it goes bad um, faster if you put the watermelon because everything um, just gets all the watermelon juices. And so um, anyway, this is what I do for our fruit bowls probably once a week, depending if my husband's home or not. Um, Sometimes we can go a week and a half, depending on how much fruit I put in, how many containers of berries, how, you know what I mean. Um, the kids have already ate half of the raspberries, so there's only going to be a couple raspberries in here. Um, so this is going to be more. So, sorry, my camera died. Like I was saying, this will be more of a smaller, so usually I do like two containers of strawberries, two blueberries two raspberries, grapes, and pineapple, and then it fills our big bowl, and that lasts us quite a while. But this time, um, this is what I was able to get, and this is what they had at the store, so this is what we're going with um, this week, so it will last us, I would still say it would last us about a week. We eat it with everything, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Um, we use it as a side. If the kids are hungry, we'll get them a bowl of it. Um, I'm also going to do a fruit bowl, or a, not fruit, this is our fruit bowl. I'm going to do a veggie. Um, so anyway, you guys, I'm going to get the rest of this fruit cut up and prepped, and then I'm going to do veggies, and I'll show you what I'm going to prep for veggies this week, and I'll show you how I put the paper towel in there once I'm to that step after I get done cutting everything up. Um, we also have, like, oranges, clementines, and bananas. They're almost gone, actually, because the kids go through them, but... Um, those are also free pickings for the kids, so I'm going to get this cut up and put into the bowl, and then I'll show you how I put the paper towel. Um, my juices never leak out of the bowl when I turn it upside down, but if you're worried about that, you can put a mat or something, um, another towel or something under it in the fridge if you're worried about that. Like I said, I've never had an issue with the bowl that I have, but um, anyway, I will see you guys here in a little bit once I get this on. Okay, guys, I got our fruit bowl all done. Our fruit bowl's not just beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to take my paper towels and I'm just going to put a couple right on top and kind of just tuck in the corners, just kind of like this. Throw the lid on. And then I'm going to actually store it in the fridge upside down, lid side down, so that all of the extra water, Mommy, if there's any left. You I'm not packing food. Uh, I'm making fruit bowl. Yeah. You like it? Is it good? Hey, were you eating cherries? Uh-huh. I see it all over your face. Mm -hmm. What you been doing? Eating cherries. Mm. Huh? Did you share? Mm -hmm. Good job. High five. Proud of you for sharing. Okay, hang on. So I'll actually store this upside down. Um. Woo. Like so, in the fridge with the lid side down so that all of the extra juices can soak up on the paper towel. And then after a couple days, I take the paper towel out when it I think it's all good. So I'm actually going to take a break, I think, and go um, work with our yearling horse. Um, so I'm going to go get dressed because, um, yes, I'm still in my pajamas. And um, work with her before I do the veggies. So, hey guys, so now I'm actually gonna, before it starts raining, because it's getting really windy and stormy out, but I'm gonna go at least bring Bunny some of the strawberry tops because she really enjoys that. And Ruby, 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 Ruby. Ruby's gonna be my little helper. So, we will take you out to see Bunny at least so that um, we can give her some of these strawberry tops that. Um, weren't good and there's a couple strawberries that weren't good and then we'll give the rest to the chickens. So let's go out and see her. Ready to go? Uh -huh. Got her some strawberries? It's getting windy, let's go. Okay. Nothing. Nowhere, huh? Go. Bunny's, um, she's the only horse here because my husband took the other ones to go riding and move cows today. 
so she's getting that other extra treatment, huh, Bunny? Hi, little lady. Kids brought her in a wagon of hay, filled up a thing of water, even though her water is not there. You gonna give her our strawberry? Okay. Hey, here, Bunny girl. Hey, don't. Oh, be nice. She's so curious. She's always sitting here watching the kids jump on the trampoline. She doesn't want it because the kids gave her some hay. Say here, Bunny. Say here, go, Bunny. She doesn't want to get caught. Hi. Oh, is it good? She's eating it. She's eating that one. Hang on a second. All right, hang on a second. You think she likes it? Yeah. Yeah, she does. She has the name. Try to eat my hair. You put it in the hay for her? Yeah. Okay. Is she so cute? Do you love her? Oh, she's eating a yeah. strawberry. Yeah? She's eating I, it. Nice strawberry. Yeah. Is it good, Bunny? Yeah. She likes it. Mm -hmm. She likes it. Yes, Mommy. Oh, let go. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, Molly. I mean, Molly. Hey, you guys. I'm sitting down to edit our video, and I realized I didn't film an intro, so I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching our video. I hope that you enjoyed it, and please like and subscribe to our channel. It really helps to push our videos out to other people who might love it, too, um, and it helps us a ton. So, um, I just hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week, and know that Jesus loves you, and we will see you guys next time.